guys, what's up? Big John with J Custom Builds. Hey, listen, if you're new to my channel, do me a favor, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. If you have not entered my current giveaway, a beautiful 2009 Ultra, head over to my website right now, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt. That's your automatic entry into the giveaway. I'm telling you, man, this bike is beautiful. She has been completely redone. The words can't say enough. Head over to my website, buy yourself a hat. Buy yourself a t-shirt, buy yourself several, and that's your automatic entry into the giveaway. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to all my customers who have entered into the giveaway. Let's share these videos so that we can get this bike given away soon. Other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day. God bless you all, and let's get started on this video. Now I'm doing the other side real quick. So you can't, as long as you got the front on the front, the back on the back, you can't mix these up. I mean, you can if you put that one over here and you put that one over there, then you're gonna, when you go to put your push rods in, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, this isn't going. So always look in the back. It's got an F on one and an R on the other. I'm excited guys, this is getting close. Before you get those push rods in here and the, uh, the push rod sleeves, the housing, you want to make sure that you uh, get all the O-rings in there. You know, if you put a little bit of oil or a little bit of a, uh, it's called dye something that you, the, like, that you put on electrical stuff, you put that on here and it'll actually hold them up. Some people just put them around the top and they put the bottom ones in here with a little bit of oil. And as long as these are in here, make sure when you put those in and you go to close them up that they're not pinched. Cause a lot of times when you're wiggling them around and moving them around or you got them in and you're actually adjusting the push rods, these will pop up and you'll end up pinching it and it'll end up causing a leak. And all you gotta do is loosen it and fix it. But still, that's not the point. You don't wanna have to go back and redo stuff. So now I'm gonna torque these guys. Remember, quarter 20 bolts always go 120 inch pounds. There you go. That one, go across. Here, go here, do that one twice, that one twice, that one twice. See how you always get a little more out of them? So there's two sets of O-rings. The skinnier big ones go on the bottom inside here. And then these thicker thicker, smaller ones go right in there. And this is where I usually put them and I leave them right there and make sure when I put them up and I go to put the uh, sleeve covers on, I make sure that I uh, always put those in. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get a little bit of oil on these guys and I'm gonna put them in there. You can actually see them in there, right? That one in there. So those are in. So I got this tube in yesterday. I already got the zero lash out of that. So what that pretty much means is when you stick it in the tube, basically what you do is you start turning them counterclockwise and I'll show you, see how it collapses? Well, the minute you get a couple turns on there, it doesn't want to collapse anymore. So what you're doing is you're bringing this out. I and mean, if you look right here, the more spins I go counterclockwise, Pretty soon the threads are gonna come out and here they come. See the threads? And that's when you know you get real close and this nut is your locking nut that you wanna use two seven sixteenths. You hold the top one after you get your 34 flats or your four full turns and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. But first you gotta take the zero lash out which means you gotta get it, the top on the rocker, the bottom one barely, barely touching the uh the tap it as soon as that's barely touching the tap it and this actually is hitting the top there's you have no movement up and down that's zero lash and so i'm going to take this and turn this back out and i'm going to turn that clockwise like so right clockwise so that i can put this one in and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about right now i'm going to put this back in the tube these are called quickie push rods there you go see so what I'm gonna do is put that back in here and I'm gonna lube up this O-ring really quick. 
and set it on there so that when I push it up here, right? And look at, look at all the space that I have down there. So I know that that push rod is up, right? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and start turning it until I touch the bottom of the tapping. See how I can rock it up and down right now, look at this. So I'm gonna get it in the top of the rocker. I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise and keep moving it. It's gonna take me a little bit longer because the exhaust are usually longer than the uh, intake. So this one didn't take me that long to do it. See how it's barely moving now? So I'm gonna push that up against the top rocker and keep turning, and then there it is. I barely hit the top rocker and you got zero lash. If I turn it in a little bit, then I'm gonna have movement. So I'm gonna hold the top one, rock it until it stops. When it stops, that's when you know you have zero lash. I'm gonna mark this one on the top and I'm gonna turn that one on the top, but I wanna get this in there first up into the housing and usually I do the back one first I do the the intake first and then I do the exhaust after but I didn't want to pull that one back out because I have it at zero lash right now so at this point what you want to do is make sure that you still have the rubber o-rings on the bottom before you start and they're there and then you want to make sure you got the top ones in that one's in and that one's in you want to make sure they're both in there so this is that top dead center. These both are on the same dot right now. So when you put the timing in, you check the back cylinder and you make sure that it's at top dead center. And that's when you can actually adjust both of these. If you check these right now, the intake's all the way down, but the exhaust is up. So when I do this, this is gonna go one full 360 turn, the bottom gear, and the top one's gonna go 180 all the way up here. And that's when you know you're at top dead center in the front and you can actually uh, do this one. All right, so we're gonna take this white paint here and we're gonna mark that one. So I'm gonna hold the bottom one and then I'm gonna actually go four turns on that one. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the one in the back, but I'm gonna have to get something to actually hold these up. So give me a second, guys. So what I did is I did four full turns on that and it's pretty tight so I know for a fact that it's pressed up against the uh, the top rocker so these were actually really full remember I soaked them inside of a, a cup so the uh, tappets are pretty full so I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see if it comes down or I know it's gonna come down but so it's compressed pretty good so at this point what you want to do is you want to get two seven sixteenths wrenches hold the top one and tighten up that bottom one really good but you want to make sure that the bottom the quarter inch one does not spin as well so i'm going to actually hold all three of those so i'm going to hold this one here just tighten this one make sure that bottom one doesn't turn i don't see it turning All right, there we go. That front one's done. It's all locked in, ready to go. So now I'm gonna do the one in the back. Okay, now I'm gonna mark this one and I'm gonna give it four turns. So you wanna lose that mark. That's why it's easier to do the inside one first and then the outside, because I did the outside one first to show you guys, but I should have did the back one and then did this one. It just made it a little bit harder on myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this guy here, just like that. And then I'm gonna give the one in the back four good turns. So that's one. That's two. That's three. Almost there, guys.
And that is, that's four right there. Can you see the top? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach down in here. I'm gonna grab that nut. And you can just use a pick. They're not real hard to bring up. There it is right there, see it? So now, that one right there goes clockwise. Wish I had that one up too. So what I'm doing is bringing that nut all the way to the top. You can see it is right there. So I'm gonna hold the one in the back and I'm actually gonna turn the one in the front. Oh, see, I didn't wanna do that. So the bottom one's turning as well. So in order to keep that one from turning, I'm gonna have to hold it. So that's why they say you need three wrenches. So now I'm gonna hold the little one in the back and the top one. The little one does want to go with the top, but I'm not letting it. Okay, there we go. So those are all done. So now I can spin the one in the front. Can you guys see how I can spin that one? There's a lot of pressure on, on the one in the rear. So we're just gonna hang tight. We're not even gonna mess with anything. I wanna wait till this goes down and loosens up and then we'll be able to jump to the front. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done, I'm excited. So we're just gonna hang tight until that one actually loosens up. And uh, in fact, I'll put you guys on pause and I'm gonna get the clips together so I can put them in. So the front one's turning pretty good, so I'm gonna try to get my retaining clip in there. I wanna get that in there, push that baby down, get your clip in there on the top, pop that girl in on the bottom and there we go and that one is in now all we got to do is wait for this one and actually that one's spinning pretty good too so we're going to take the clip out hang that right there make sure that's not pinched on the bottom pop this girl in get that little top out and get that baby locked up inside there it is you want to make sure the top one goes in right guys then you get your tool, get your top portion in first, pull that baby all the way down and then get your, get your clip in there like so. And like I said, it's a lot easier if you do the back one, fill all the way around, make sure they're in there. So that one is done too, sweet. So now what we're gonna do since that was there, let me, let me actually turn the wheel. Now these are both down and I can do the fronts. See how this, this is on the top on the line and this is as well. So now these two should be, let me just peek in here really quick. You wanna make sure that you don't get those O-rings out of there. Yep, they're all good. They're both even. All right guys, now we're ready to do the fronts. So I'm gonna put this little uh, O-ring back in there. I can make sure that it's in there. And then I'm gonna get this tube for the intake. Make sure it's in there. Okay, I'm gonna get this, hook that, and bring it up there to hold it, right? And then I'm gonna bring this girl down and start turning it out so I can get to zero lash. So I'm holding the top and I'm turning the bottom one this way right sliding up and down a little bit see it you can hear it ticking there it is it stopped it's at zero lash right there mark it right where it's at let that paint dry so what i'm going to do now is i got this o-ring in i got the top o-ring in so i'm going to grab this and my little quarter inch and i'm going to hold this guy and then i'm going to go four full turns on this one So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's 
that's four right there and now i'm going to take the locking nut and go up i'm going to hold this back one here i'm going to hold that top one and then i'm going to grab the other 7 16th that i have and i'm going to tighten the locking nut Get that O-ring nice and lubricated with that oil. Slap that baby back in there. So we'll sit tight until that one right there loosens up. Not loose yet. When you're done, you wanna make sure that you don't have any of your O-rings pushed out. I'm guilty of that, I've done that before. Where your O-ring gets pinched and then it's sticking out like that. You don't wanna do that. Hi, buddy. Hey, nope, don't drink that. Don't drink that. No, no, no. Hi. Hi, Bubbush. Hi, little Bubbush. What are you doing? Are you just being a little travieso? Are you being a little travieso? Yeah. He's like, yeah, mama put me outside with you. She put me outside with you. She said, you go hang outside with daddy now. It's, it's only 80. It's only 79 or 80. It's not that bad this little guy I'm gonna try to turn this Leo just a little bit oh yeah it's loosening up really good it's loosening up really good Bob boys it's about to turn by its tail careful careful buddy he's out chasing cats he's a little cat chaser so once I'm done with these guys getting the lifters on there and everything then I'm gonna put the timing cover back on I'm gonna get the exhaust back on the O2 sensor and then I'm going to get the floorboard back on it. And then we're going to start this girl up and see how she sounds. Oh, uh, yeah. It's almost there, guys. It's almost there. It usually takes... I've seen it take like 25, 30 minutes for that thing to loosen up. So it shouldn't take that long. Whenever you work on your bikes or you put stuff together, you want to use this engine assembly. A lot of times they'll get these in, uh, you know, the small little uh, tube. They're like small little toothpaste packages. I'm gonna be doing a lot of this stuff, so I just wanted to get the, the big bottle. It's almost there, guys, it's almost there. All right, guys, let's get this top one in now. Got the O-ring here, the O-ring's down there. Get this in here. This is the exhaust. And you can see how this went all the way up. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold it up until we fill it inside of there. And then I'm gonna start spinning it until it comes out. Got a long way to go long way to go because again it's this one's longer remember it's the exhaust still about a quarter of an inch okay the lash is out we'll go back just a hair no lash so i'm gonna mark it right there let that dry a little bit this one should be able to spin now. It's spinning pretty good. So now I'm gonna hold the bottom one and then I'm gonna give the top four full turns. There's one. Make sure you count these. If you lose track, go back and start all over again. There's two. There's three. And there is four right there. Now I'm gonna snug the bottom one up against the top. Again, remember, you don't want the bottom to turn because with this, it will turn on you. I'm holding this one with my hand on here and then I'm turning that one. So now, let me get this on here like this, like that, and then hold this one. And now I'm gonna do the scissor lock. <clears throat> That's not going anywhere. That's good. So that one's really tight. Blew it on that, because this one, I don't know why, this one on top seems pretty dry. You don't want to put them in there dry, guys. You want to make sure they got a little bit of lube on them. And then you want to press that down, make sure it's in there. 
take this, go down and up with that one. Make sure it seeps in. And there it is. I'm gonna go up with this one just really quick because I wanna make sure this back one's turning more free now. It's not real, real free, but it's, it's turning a lot more free. Bring this down, put this inside that bottom section. Pull the little cup down, little coupler. Grab my tool. Pinch that down. Get this guy in there. There we go. Fill it around, make sure it's pressed up. Make sure it's locked in on the top. There you go. Check the O-ring, that one's good to go. We're almost there guys, we are almost there. Yeah, see how tight that is? That is super, super, super tight. So we're just gonna let that baby sink down. I went in to grab it. I don't know if you guys have ever had these, the Waterloo sparkling waters. I'm addicted to these things. This is the blackberry lemonade. Oh my God, it's so delicious. I keep my refrigerator nice and cold too. Oh my God, let's see if this thing's turning. Yeah, see that? Yeah, baby. That's exactly what we wanted, guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, when it got by the flashlight. Yeah. Yeah, we look pretty good. So now I'm gonna try to rotate it and just see how it is. Make sure that everything's in there right and we're not hitting anything bad. All right, we're good, little Leo. We're good, Popeyes. All right, we got those on. I'm gonna let those just settle for the night. They're all in there. I spun it around. I gave it around four or five rotations already, and it seems to be pretty good. So we're gonna put that cover on tomorrow, get everything back in. I took all the the top uh, little, uh, geez, man, I cannot think right now. These little shits right here, those damn things, the clips. I took those off so that I could check the push rods as they were rotating and they were perfectly fine. So other than that, I'm gonna call it a night. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Thank you for watching my channel. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm working on getting more and more videos out. I know my my last few videos haven't probably been what you guys have been wanting to see, but I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get stuff done and I might as well get it recorded. And if some of you guys are interested in, in it, you know, great. If not, that's okay. I appreciate you guys even taking the moment to stop by my channel and just taking a peek. So you guys have a great weekend. Have a great Saturday night. Take care. God bless. Love you guys. Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Big John with J Custom Builds. It's uh, October 8th and uh, I'm getting ready to try to finish uh, doing the cams on uh, blue. It's been probably about four, maybe five or six weeks since I did a cam. And the only thing that was bothering me was making sure that I had the uh, the base side of the cam when I was actually doing the uh, the four turns on the push rod. So I think I did it all right. A little worried, you know, just being honest as I start it. And uh, I'll show you guys where I'm at right now. I did this yesterday. And so I just want to make sure that, you know, everything's done. I'm just going to check these again. I was just been doing like maybe one or two hours every evening coming out here and trying to get this going. So I had a hard time turning it yesterday and that's why I was actually worried, but I wasn't sure if I let them bleed down all the way. I thought I gave them enough time, but it could, like I said before, it could take up to 20 minutes, sometimes even longer than that to let them bleed down. And the, the uh, tappets were actually really full because I <clears throat> soaked them in that overnight. And so they were literally full when I put them in. Of course, they were gonna have a ton of pressure in them. So anyways, let's get started on this and uh, we'll go from there. So this one's, oh, this one's spinning pretty good too, and it's actually extended. Oh no, these one. Let's see about the one in the back. Ooh, that one's kind of tight. Oh, that's why, because the lifters. Is the lifter up? Let me grab my flashlight. Oh yeah, the lifter's up a little bit, and the other one's down. That's why. That one's spinning free, and that one's spinning free as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the. Uh, the clips back in make sure all these are sealed really really good before i bring them down and uh we'll just go from there i'm gonna put everything back on it and get everything covered up so all right let's get this video going 
There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Make sure that they're pressed in all the way. And we're good to go. All right. I'll get this gasket on there. There we go. We grab the cover. So now let's get some Loctite on these screws. Get these guys in there. So I'm gonna get these all snug and then I'm, it calls for a, anywhere from 90 to 120 inch pounds. I'm just gonna use my bigger torque wrench and just go 10 pounds on them. You know what, I'm just gonna use this 120 inch pound. So you wanna start on one side and just kinda, just stagger them, you don't wanna go there you go. Go down here. Come up here. Make it. Now I'm just going around just to make sure I got all of them. Believe that I did. All right, everything's looking a-okay. So now I'm gonna get the exhaust on there, but before I do that, I'm gonna wipe everything down really, really, really quick. Just wipe a lot of this stuff down, get the oil off of everything. This is that spray that I was telling you guys about, the 1903. Oh, hey, I need to also contact a 400 subscriber. My apologies. I have not gotten back to you. I need to see on my end that you are the 400 subscriber. And also the, the 500 subscriber is going to get either a free hat or a free t-shirt. If you're a female, we got three different colors, three different sizes. I also have the men's in medium and large. If you decide you want a black one instead, they are men's shirts, but you know, a lot of women are buying those too. So you're gonna get a free shirt or a free hat, color of your choice, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But I am gonna be contacting the 500th and the 400th subscriber, just to let you guys know, you guys got a free hat or a free t-shirt. Looks really good. Okay guys. I need to get this guy behind there. And you gotta go out pretty much like so. There we go. So I'm gonna hold that there. And I'm gonna try to get some of these bolts in this back over here so I can hold this thing up. So I don't wanna get these all the way tight. I'm only getting one on there like that so it can hold it. There we go. Everything's in now. Let's get the nuts on there. Let's see if I can get the top one in. Okay guys, so I got these two bolts in. Getting this one in right here, the center bolt underneath the transmission. There it goes. I'll tighten that one up here in a sec. And then make sure this is straight back here. Yep, tighten these guys up really quick. Tighten this guy up. I had to loosen that so I can get it on there straight. All right, that's good. This has actually been a really fun job, guys. It's been a great experience. All right, exhaust is in. Let me make sure these guys are tied up here.
that's tight. So everything appears to be super tight and good. Don't forget to plug your, your uh, O2 sensors in, guys. That's good. So this exhaust, the header pipes I bought brand new, right? From uh, a guy on off -rip. But he did not have these uh, shields. So I found some shields on uh, offer up and they weren't in the best condition, but I bought them anyways, cause that's all I could find at the time without having to spend a whole lot of money. I thought, man, I bought the brand new headers, but I didn't get the, uh, the shields. So he said, well, I, I got some old covers off a bike that just came in. I don't know if you want them. And I was like, well, let's see them. So these are the covers that I ended up getting. You know, they're old beat up. I straightened it out a little bit here, but I mean, it is what it is. It's my personal bike. So don't forget to put your bike back in uh, neutral. You don't want to start it if it's not in neutral. You have to spin the tire a little bit in order to get it. This thing's really moving. we go so I basically just want to run the oil I want to build pressure in the oil pump till the uh, oil light turns off Now I'm going to put the spark plugs in, guys. All right, guys, let's start this girl up and see how she runs. It just doesn't want to start right now. So what I guess I'll do right now, guys, is I'll uh, I'll put this back on. Over this fender, it's, all, it's already been through the ringer, right? Okay, there we go. I gotta get me a new windshield, guys. Mine's all jacked up. <sighs> Poor bike's all dirty, man. It's been in here since May. Horrible, huh, guys? I hope this girl runs good, guys. I'm really nervous about that. Alright guys, I got it going finally. I had to redo the tappets again. <laughs> 